Damon Lindelof, the man who was supposed to have his own Star Wars movie, didn't leave out of spite from Lucasfilm, but Lucasfilm themselves asked him to leave. And who was at the center of the problem, that being Kathleen Kennedy. Something about her and her just wanting to continue to focus on Rey, which is just a complete joke. And this Rey Solo movie is yet again another complete joke. And for context, Damon pitched his own movie, got another writer, and also found a director for his movie. And then he was asked to leave. And his movie is something I think Kathleen Kennedy would have loved as it once again revolves around Rey. But this whole thing is just a mess, just as Lucasfilm is themselves. And now Damon Lindelof is confirming that Lucasfilm asked him to leave, even though they are the ones that wanted him to write a movie, and then out of the blue, wanted him gone. It's just a complete mess, and now some elements, I guess, are going to be salvaged and used for the new Rey movie. And his film was going to be based on Rey 60 years in the future, an 80-year-old Rey, essentially. But the caveat is, is that Daisy Ridley wasn't going to be in it. And I guess that didn't suit Kathleen Kennedy, and she really wanted Ridley as the role. And let's just get into this mess. During an interview with Esquire published online Friday, the Lost creator claimed, I was in more than talks to join the Star Wars universe. I joined the Star Wars universe and was asked to leave. If this doesn't say how bad of management Lucasfilm is in, I just don't know what does. They just can't seem to stick to a plan without needing to change things. And why wouldn't they be in a mess when you have a president that many don't want to run the company and has brought of little to no value to the name of Star Wars? In March, it was reported that Peaky Blinders creators Stephen Knight would be stepping in to work on the script for the project from Oscar-winning director Charmin Obaichanoid, who is an activist, and it's going to be interesting to see how this new Ray movie pans out following Lindelof and up-and-coming writer Justin Britt Gibson's departure. Now, let's see what Damon Lindelof's movie was based on. Premise of Damon Lindelof's original script revealed, and it's a shocker. Yeah, I wonder why it's a shocker. Maybe because... No one would have thought they would have gone this far. He clearly planned to jump much further into this galaxy's future, skipping the formation of the new Jedi Order and taking us to a point where Rey's life is nearing its end and she's in the midst of training two Jedi Knights who will presumably be the focal point of the future stories. Taking Rey and essentially showing the end of her life won't ever flow well with Kathleen Kennedy because at the end of the day, Rey is a character that promotes the message that the Force is female and Rey being this strong and overpowered character that learns things very quickly. And when it comes to training two new Jedis and jumping into the future, that could have gone somewhere where a Jedi perhaps turns to the dark side and you see things transpire and conflicts start to arise. It would have been interesting to see, but apparently Lucasfilm didn't want any of that. That would have been one way to finally move on from the Skywalker saga, but it's clear now that Lucasfilm had other ideas and doesn't want to gloss over the time Rey Skywalker spent trying to restore the place of Jedi as the galaxy's protectors. Honestly, it feels like the studio made the right choice this time. And just to add more icing onto the cake and how bad of a state Lucasfilm is in, Yaya Abdul Mateen II, the male lead for Damon Lindelof's movie, has also left a while back, having others suggesting that the script for the movie was bad. But come on, just how much more worse could it be to what we are going to be getting with the upcoming Ray movie? It can't be by much. They had a chance to essentially skip what ruined many Star Wars fans from the franchise, but of course, Kathleen Kennedy once again doubles down on their creations, which many don't like, and more than likely, things will get worse for Disney Star Wars. And with all that in mind, I like your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.